we're actually going to go through the cutting process with this. All right. And so for the cutting process, you're going to have to use both of the knives that you guys bought. You'll, you're going to use the big one for the majority of the cuts, and you're going to have to use the little X-Acto knife to video? do it's going to do uh, the shortcuts across the front of these. Okay. So Mitchell wanted me to point out to you guys that uh, if you guys if you guys have a little extra jingle, that little tools like this are available over at Carpe Diem, and they they can kind of help you to you know kind of line things up quickly if you want. These are called machinists squares. Yeah. So, and, and if, you, if you have enough money for one, try and find enough money for two. If you have two, they also work well as kind of blocks for holding model pieces yeah. together. And They're heavy. They push. I've got, I've got some that are fatter than this. Yeah. So, okay. So pretty much what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys some techniques for cutting. All right. And the techniques are, are pretty much the same as they were when you made the initial cuts of the box. So. You want to make sure that you are looking down at the object properly, right? Make sure that you're lining stuff up. Make sure that the knife is straight up and down this way, but has a low entry angle. You want to make several sequential cuts going through it. Okay, so here we go. I've got it all lined up. I'm looking down at it. My blade is straight up and down. I got a low entry angle. There's one, two, three, four, okay. Now, how many different types of materials is the blade cutting through right there? Two. 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 What are they? Paper and foam. Paper and foam. What about in this corner? Glue. The glue. There's an extra material there. So you'll feel it. When you get to the corner and you're coming to it, it'll start to feel like you're cutting almost like through this cutting mat. It's a little rubbery. Okay, so sometimes, depending on how hard the glue is, you might have to kind of wiggle your knife through it. Okay, all right. One other thing that's really important that you got to understand is that when you're doing this with your knife, you may not be cutting straight down. So what I tell students is to turn the box around and make sure that they stand the blade straight up, right? Because when you do that, you won't have that little hanging chad thing in the bottom corner. All right. You guys are too young to know what hang and chads are, I'm guessing. No, some some of you are old enough to know what hanging chads were. That was a few elections ago. I I I, I often refer to myself as an equal opportunity hater. Mm -hmm. I despise all politicians of any party. I don't care. I don't like them. Uh, they're all cut from the same cloth. Dirty rats. <laughs> All right, anyway, so you get to the corner. That's the end of my political commentary. You get to the corner and you'll feel it's a little rubbery right there, okay? And then you'll come back and just make sure that, that you stand the blade straight up. Okay. Now for this one, you can use this, this wider blade. I can come across here. And one, two, Three, I could hear the paper. Four, I gotta go a little further and stand it up. And there is the piece done. All right. So that's the that's your first that is your first surface subtraction. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other edge too while we're at it. So here goes. How many minutes we out there, Mitchell? You are at three minutes and fifty-six seconds. Oh, we're doing great. It's like you're like a machine. Yeah. Stand the blade back up. Soft jazz. Soft jazz. I just wanted to make sure there was <laughs> there was no mount sack policy against soft jazz in the studio. Um, yeah, typically we play something a little more lively so that they don't uh, drool on their projects as they fall asleep. 
Soft jazz, huh? I'm looking. I'm trying to figure out which one of you requested that. I like rough jazz, but well. I don't know. Gee, man. Here, my policy is typically I pay for Spotify. So um, I have a Spotify account that I put on. I put it on the other day for you guys. Um, and I tell people, hey, if you got a playlist, just find it and put it in. As long as the dean doesn't walk by when the four letter expletives are coming off of some of those songs, we're okay. All right, let me finish this up though, because guys, I don't want this video to get too long. So yes, we can put music on. We do it all the time. Uh, for the short ones, these little short ones, you're going to have to use the small blade because this is too big to get down inside of here. So what I typically do, again, this is going to be the cleanest cuts you can get will, will be made with this knife. So I'll go ahead and cut this sucker out like that. One. And then you use the short little one to come across here. Hopefully this is a sharp blade because these blades wear out really fast. And there is the other cut. Now I just start going down the side. Okay? Any questions about that? All right, let's go ahead and stop that and uh, just say cutting technique.